Hey my friends, welcome to this week's blog. This week I want to talk about the secret to playing any rav scale. And this is a technique that you can use to pick up, you know, even the more difficult scales like an oleo or the Arabian Nights and be able to play something pretty quickly on it. Um, the layout of the rav is such that you can change the movement of the scale based off of what note you're using as your root note in your playing. And I've talked about this before, um, but in particular, I chose the G Pygmy and the C Golden Gate to demonstrate this. And they're two very different sounding scales, but you can apply the same technique to both of them and create a song, whether it's improv or something you create and remember, with little effort. So let's take a look at one technique on the G Pygmy, and then I'll apply that same technique to the C Golden Gate. But again, this can be applied to any scale. Let's take a look. So to apply this technique, we're gonna start off very simple, and we're just gonna hit whatever your top note is, and then we're gonna hit the center note. And then we're gonna go to the next one down, and back to the center note. Next one down. Next one down. Just like that, all the way down the scale. And we're going to try that. This is how I play it at speed. Once you're comfortable doing that, you can pick a particular portion of that to repeat. So we'll just do the first, the first four notes going down this scale. Once you're comfortable with that, and we've chosen what four notes we're going to use, instead of using the center note, we're gonna to go to the bottom note. And what this is gonna do is change the feel of what you're playing. Um, if you're interested in music theory or play guitar, it's almost like changing the chord that you're using. And then you're providing melody on top of that. So again, we're doing Now we're gonna go down to this bottom note. center note. The secret really to playing these instruments is to know where the movement in the scale is. And most of the time that movement is from the center note, the first, second and third note in that scale. And altering that can change what you're playing drastically. And I'm going to play the same thing I was just playing before, but I'm going to use it, uh, use another note as my center note or focal note. So again, we'll start with the first part. Now I'm just doing this one-handed. Once you're more comfortable, you could speed it up, you could add other things to it. But the, the main point of this is to alter the lower notes. That's really what's gonna change the feel. And the rest of that is melody built on top of what you're playing. So you could even do
notes, but one hit here, center note, one hit, center note. There's a million different ways to do it. This is doing that same technique on a drastically different scale. Friends, I hope you found this a uh, useful video. Just using those three different notes as your anchoring note makes for a huge variety of songs. And it allows you to approach any rap in a way that you know there will be some sort of melodic movement to it. Um, again, this was demonstrated on the G Pygmy and the C Golden Gate, but the same applies to all different raps. So. Hopefully this little secret clues you in how to pick up anybody's wrath or even hand pen too and begin to play something that's melodically interesting and beautiful. Stay well and I'll talk to you guys soon. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and ask any questions you have below and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as we can. Also, the question of the day for this week is... If you were to find one note that matched all of these raps, whether it's a flute or a violin, what would be that drone note that you'd want to use? Let us know below. Stay well.